my apartment and certainly not my kitchen. In fact, any of you that are following me on the cooking channel, link in the description, uh, will know this is Jay's kitchen. And that's because I get contacted a lot by people wanting to send me, well, mostly shit. And I just say no. No, I don't want Bluetooth headphones, I don't want baby monitors, I don't want USB charging things that strapped to my bed that you want to pay $60 for, stop it. But, an affordable sous vide precision cooker, send me one of them! Okay, so here is the washer steam, and I'm gonna forget the price right now because I have to check. But it's cheap and affordable, it's an affordable sous vide cooker, and if you don't know what sous, if you, you're on zero reviews, you have no idea what's happening, this isn't headphones, you can't listen to this. Does it have a good beat? Can you dance to it? I don't know yet. What this does, and what sous vide is, is a French word, don't get offended by that too much, that I'm gonna fill this pot with water, up to a certain level there. And this machine here, when you plug it into the wall, is going to heat the water to a very specific temperature, probably the temperature we think chicken is cooked at, and while that chicken is going to be in vacuum sealed bags so that the water can't actually touch it, we're just gonna put it in there and in 90 minutes, that chicken's gonna be perfectly cooked without doing anything. Oh, along with the actual precision cooker comes these. It's a bag of 250 balls. I don't know, I don't know what the actual uh, term is. I'll check the product page later when I actually have the internet. But these basically get thrown on top of this water and will float there and keep the steam from rising up because that's how you lose a lot of the heat from when you're sous vide. People will usually put them in a plastic container, which I could show you a demonstration of, or this is actually shown on a big old cooking pot. So that's good. And these should also help keep the package submerged, although you can still put weights on it or something. So right now, I've got the chicken. I've got a vacuum sealer. I've got seasonings to go on the chicken. I'm gonna fill this up with water. What's my line at? And it's got this interesting silicone grabby system so that at the edge of the pot you could lock it at different heights because you could put it all the way in to the bottom but you can only fill it up that much so this will lock there and i can fill it up that much which is what i want i also get to adjust for the amount of volume displacement when i put the chicken in and since i'm gonna have eight chicken cutlets yes point to the matter of the fact put that down for now Pop this big pot in your sink, which is filled with dirty things, which I made dirty, so I feel bad. And fill it up with lukewarm water. Here's here's the thing. There's a certain, I'll link to a temperature guide picture thing on a website down in the description. And there's a certain temperature that chicken, and I, I prefer 143 degrees Fahrenheit, and for you Europeans, you can convert that and spam it in the comments. I prefer 143 degrees. Celsius, uh, Fahrenheit, internal temperature of my chicken, and I do 90 minutes of cooking. And you can go anywhere from like 90 minutes to two and a half hours. But I usually do 90 minutes, it doesn't matter, because they're not that thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to get that, that temperature water from the tap. He has a thermometer somewhere. A probe thermometer, S! Never mind. I got it, I got it. Yeah, I'm good. I'm going to figure out, because if it's too hot, it'll just sit there and not do anything but circulate water. If it's too cold, it's going to take too long. It takes a while to heat up, even though it's a thousand watts. More heat. I think forward is heat, right? No, backwards is heat. There we go. So basically, I'm looking to get as near as I can to 143 degrees. I'll link to this thing and obviously that thing. This is an interesting video, don't change it, Matt. We're gonna have chicken. So now I'm putting out maximum temperature. Actually, I should have realized maximum temperature from his boiler is probably not gonna be anywhere near 143 degrees. Yeah, about 112. Wow, that's not even like, that's a pansy amount of water. All right. All right, do I say all right enough for my videos? So that's gonna fill up. To a line that I've determined. I'm going to season the chicken breasts, vacuum seal four bags, four different types of seasoning, of course you got to do it like this, and then we're going to pop that in and see how long it takes to get it up to temperature. So I'll be back when lots of that's done. I know you people love this, so I'm going to do this first. Oh. 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 
He's like coming, I'm like coming. Peeling them off is like coming. Okay. 1,050 watts. I'm going to put it in the water pot. You can see where the water is. Now, there's a min and max sign on the side. And the ideal thing is when the water is settled up, I'm at the minimum right there, and it will fit, that's the maximum. And you're supposed to be ideally in the middle between the two. So I'm gonna plug that in, and I can move it up and down, obviously. Obviously, just keep saying obviously. So there's the maximum line. I'm gonna leave it submerged. I'm gonna turn it on, switch it to Fahrenheit. It's doing things where it's, of course, error. Because I jiggled it, not because I jiggled it, or maybe because it was too low. Let's see. Hundred and eighteen, hundred and twenty, it's reading me off. Actually, let's see if that error is the water level too high. Hold on. Yes. Interesting. That's a good safety feature. All right, so let's set it there. I'm trying to see what it's doing. What are you doing? Oh, I can see it moving. So. Oh, there it goes. It was like priming or something. This is all new to me. This is all new. This is what you're going to go through. So go through it with me. Let's go through it together. Can I get this so I can hook on just there? See, the thing is, it's just too low with the water. Oh, I get it. Yeah, I need to put a little bit more water in there. So I need to dirty something that Jay would really not like. <laughs> It'll dry again. Yeah, I'm just gonna add like another quarter inch of water. Don't lean over on me. So once I do that, then I could actually use the clip properly. There we go. Perfect. And it's actually quiet. Way quieter than mine. Look how much it's spinning. I'll, I'll drop a ball. Stay still, Wasserstein. No, that's too low. The clip system works fine when the clip system's working fine. Let's put it that way. Oh, I think the cord's also a little stiff, so it's dragging it over. We've got a nice cylindrical motion going. So it's at 111, I have to set it. So now I'm telling it how high I want it to go. 143 is what I said, so it should click, and now it's telling me the water is 111. By the way, if you want to watch this full video, this video is going to be broken into two versions. The Z Cooks video, taking place in Jay kitchen, Jay's kitchen, and the Z reviews of the Wasserstein affordable sous vide stick and I don't know the name of these balls. They're cool. You got a bag of balls and they spin around and that's supposed to cover that whole water thing. I'm not going to put them on until I'm done because I want to visualize everything that's happening. That's working really well. So I'm going to end this video here if you're watching the Z reviews and then I'm going to put it back on and I'm going to do seasonings. And you're not going to watch that. If you want to watch that video, check the other channel link in the description. Alright, the water has now made it to 143. It actually made it there a while ago. But I had to unplug to do the vacuum sealing because I didn't want to share the same plug. Because this is 1,050 watts and you have to make sure you take that in mind if you're going to get sous vide. One of the better parts about sous vide is you don't have to do it in the kitchen on a stove. I could do it in the bathroom, on the toilet. I do not highly, highly do not recommend you sticking one of these in your toilet bowl to get in sous vide and that. You can, technically, but I highly advise against it, and I'm sure Wasserstein would not advise that either. 
I want to thank again Washington for sending these and me advising you not to sous vide in your bathtub. Actually, your bathtub might be okay. Just don't jump in there with it. This is not for that. So now the water has hit temperature, 143. I'm going to set a timer. I think I know how to do this. Timer one. Can I do 90 minutes? Please let me do 90 minutes. I think that's 90 minutes. F and A. I may have to buy one of those too. And I'm just going to drop these. One. Two. This one's plain. One of them is filled with literally hot sauce and red pepper flakes, so it's just going to be murder chicken. See, now I'm up three packets, and I'm right about middle, so I overestimated the water just a touch. Now, you don't want them to actually, like... You want there to be space between the chicken. You want the entire surface area of the bag to be touching nothing but water. So you don't want them to stack up. Now, I'm going to not be stupid. Look for tongs, so I could... Oh, does, does Jay have any tongs, you think? Every shape and color. Just going to give them a little bit of a sort. So I could have one laying down on the bottom, and then three just doing their thing. All right, yeah. Just make sure they're all submerged. They shouldn't float. If they float, there's air in them. He'll live. And now we're going to add... A protective layer of balls. So what these are going to do is anyone who's sous vide for long periods of time. Now this is only a 90 minute one and I probably wouldn't use it ordinarily for something so short or so cool. If you do pork you're looking at like 160 degrees Fahrenheit up to 170 degrees up to seven hours and at 170 degrees for seven hours if you've ever owned a pool or window and you know the water goes down well the pool has never been 170 degrees it's never been spinning around and it's never been for seven hours. So what's going to happen is the water is literally going to start evaporating. So what these should do, and I don't have to put the whole thing in here, I'm sure I just have to put a large, let's see if the whole thing has to use. I'm basically making a single layer. I may have to use the whole thing. Let's do it. All of it. Mm. That's cool. So those are going to do is they're going to stay cooler because of the air. Steam will touch them, collect on it, and drip back down. Make sure you get them all around. A little bit of the bag sticking up, that's fine. As long as the chicken's not out of the water. Or beef, or pork, lamb. Oh my god, sous vide lamb. Now you'll also notice, this one from 143 just dropped into 141. So the, the water has mass, so... It's gonna lose a little bit of the heat, but not a lot of it. I've only replaced probably 18% of the mass in this pot with cold chicken, or room temperature chicken. So that's gonna get back up to 143. Instantly, there it is. Boom, it's already there. I lost the left one. And in 87 minutes, that chicken will be the most moist, perfect breast meat ever. And I got the thickest cutlets I could find because anyone who's ever tried to cook those cutlets on like a pan or bake them or cut them in half or fry them will know how it comes out. And uh, this is going to laugh at you. Just laugh at you. Piece of extra plastic. All right, I'll be back when dinner's ready. And that goes for the Z Reviews crowd, hi guys, and the Z Cooks crowd, or the Consortium Cooks crowd, because I am in Jay's kitchen and will not be here tonight, unfortunately, but this is how this goes down. Oh, shut up, everybody. All right, end of the Z Review, and pretty much the end of the Z Cooks. I microwaved some mashed potatoes, that doesn't count. The candied carrots came out like just violent candy for those people who are watching. So this has been in for past 90 minutes, probably like 105 minutes. I'm going to power it off and I don't have to take it out. In fact, I'm going to leave it in there. So I've got four different flavors and I'm not sure which one this is. Ow! It's just not that hot. It's got my... This might be... Oh, it's got a lot of liquid in it. This is probably Do you need paper towel? the Mexican blend. Do you need paper towel? For what? It's the liquid that's going to no. undoubtedly go everywhere. You're being a little bitch. All right, I'll cut open that one last. They're all going to have some liquid in Here's the plain, just salt. I'm going to give you some paper towel. Oh, Sorry. yeah. I'm going to show you all what sous vide does. Oh, I found them online. Here you go. $79.99 is what that costs. 
and the bag of balls. So you want to go for the bag of balls, which actually did its job. You can see the water collects on them. Well, it's 23 bucks. So he's like, why don't you just use tin foil? I'm like, shut up. Because tin foil is seven cents. Yeah, but you'd have to remake it every time, and these look cool. Remake? It's called a cover. You just put a piece of foil over it. You know what's funny? The balls are fine. Nothing. In the video that I did, I said we're a tin foil loving family. Yeah, we wear the hats. We wear the goddamn hats. Um, the only one I can't get is at the bottom. Would you like to reach into 143 sure. degree water? Down there. Where's the edge of the bag? It's in there? Wow, it's pretty hot. Um, it, it, just get, get the grabber. Just get the grabber. Can I see where the edge is? It's just don't. Well, how did that sink all the way? It, cause it's just, it was, these three were on it. It is pretty hot, I'm not gonna lie. All right, good. 143 degree water is. That's my limit, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't get in a bathtub at 143 degree water, so. Come on, I want to demonstrate this to the zero oh, views yeah. crowd. Oh, I looked literally on the bottom. You could have reached down and got that. All right, hold on. Yeah, yeah that's the spicy one. How could you tell? Oh yeah, get some of that liquid movement. I'm just gonna drop that in there. All right. Why did you put this in just, here? Just, just, I need it out of the way. It doesn't matter. But this is where the chicken's going, and now it's, it's fine. Wet. It's just wet with clean water. Stick it here. I hate so you. So we can put this. I hate you. Clean, this is wet. All right. I'm gonna cut open the plain one because it has the least liquid. Hold on. Can we unplug this? Are we done? Yeah. I'm gonna unplug this and move this out of the way. Goodbye, product I'm reviewing. Oh yeah, that's right. Duh. Okay. Goodbye. No, it's fine. <laughs> Goodbye. I forgot about that. It's reviewed. It, it's done its job. We are just here to look at the results of the product I reviewed. Okay, so. Oh, you have the box in the picture. The Wasserstein. It's a Wasserstein. It's a Wasserstein. Oh my god. You want the juice? Ah. Hold on. You, you, okay, you okay. suck. Just put, put the I'm thing I'm going to murder your face. If you want the juice, I'll just save it. Just my face. doesn't matter. It doesn't need to hold the camera. Go ahead. My slice away. I don't need to slice. 37. Uh, so and uh, this is... So... Here. Just put that in your mouth. 100% right. Hold it. That is pretty juicy. Oh. Ah, that's just a sprinkling of salt. Mm. Dude, oh. I can't have that in my salad every day. You can now. Hmm. But it's gonna Interesting be cold texture. Tomorrow. It's 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 it. What temperature you set it to? One forty-three for ninety minutes. Actually, it was longer than ninety minutes. It was a pretty thick cutlet, so I would probably go on a hundred. Well, that's pretty freaking good. I mean. Oh yeah. It's actually still hot. I would let it cool down a little bit before I consumed because it is literally at 143 degrees. Yeah, let me hear some. Let me hear some loud opinions back there about sous vide chicken. It's delicious. Okay. Now opinions that matter. Chris does not like dinner. Very soft. This has a whole garlic clove in it. That, that one spot. Which well, is salt. That was the salt. It's literally salt. There's not enough salt on there. I only touched it, so you can actually taste it. That's the first time you've ever tasted chicken. Okay, let me just give this knife a quick. Um, of course, hone. you're gonna do that. Of course, you're gonna hone that oh chicken. Because here, you can just take the chicken. Yeah. Okay, let me get down here. And, uh, Back up for one second. Wow, not so good. All right, Z Reviews and Z Cooks fans. You know what? We gotta try the hot one on camera. Okay. There, look. My hands were clean. How you doing that? That's good? It's good. I'm doing this, right? No, I don't think it's Where's the hot one? Right. There's let me, the baby. Let me rinse this tip. Now, that still has all the hot red pepper flake. The red pepper flakes didn't float around, but the heat's all around. Are we ready for this? Yeah. This has got Stand more liquid up. in it. Stand it up. There we go. Do. Move your hand. Do. Let me, one person do, do. it. Do. Okay. You want to dump that liquid somewhere? Right there. Leave it right there. Should I put That's my hand the um here. here. What's in there? You you have it on video what you put in here? Alright. Oh yeah. Let's slice that. That's up. the tenderloin. Oh the little little tender yeah. piece? Let's do the on on the bias. Why do you want silence? Like full wouldn't you tilt it the other way? No, actually. You put it towards your hand. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it looks like it's undercooked because it's so moist. But it's it is not quite moist. It's retarded. It's yeah. All right, so let's uh, ready. Right in the middle. Here we go. No, Cheers. No. Kind of the heat's not there yet. Oh, yeah. Not yet. Wait, maybe this isn't the heat. Maybe this is the heat. No, that's the heat. Temperature kills heat. So even though yeah. I, you taste it though, you don't you don't yeah. feel it so much as taste it. I approve of that. You know I like it. Yeah. yeah. This is the hot one. I found her. It's hard to pour. Would you like another? 
All right, we're done here. I approve of this $80 sous vide cooker. Yeah, I'm agreeing with the you. The balls, now. I actually like the concept of the balls. Not for $20. That's much better chicken, but it's not spicy enough. It's spicy we'll add more down. spice to it. That You gotta blame me on that, not the cooker. Wait, well, you know what would be the hardest part, though? What? Get these balls out now and store them somewhere. Yeah, tinfoil would be easy. Uh, you know what, a colander. Just collect them and then you pour them into the bag again. But they do their job. You can't knock them for not doing their job. They work their, they do their job. I like it. All right. That's the last piece. What's that? Because the, the white, the regular salt chicken. Can I, can I, can I, can I get pretty? I, I, I'm pretty? I'm going to kill you. Yeah, I no, just want to show off That's certainly perfection. cooked. There we go. Thank you for watching. I know these are hard to tolerate. I will link the Patreon for the cooking channel in the upper corner. That's different from the Patreon that I do for headphones. And But visit both Patreons. No, I'm just gonna, for this video, it's for the cooking channel. And if the cooking channel gets sponsored for cooking gear, then they'll review cooking gear. I know you guys want me to do cooking gear. Let's show me to do cooking gear, in which case, tell me in the comments. Who wants but, carrots? Everybody? Everybody? I, I'm There's no wallpaper. Here. Actually, you know what? There will be a wallpaper in the yeah. download in the description. I don't know what it'll be yet. Something to do with cooking, anime girls and cooking, because I have to keep consistency going. But uh, that's, it's gotta be there. I think I have the perfect one with a hamburger. I'll, I'll see what I can find. Check that out, check out the Patreon, links to all this crap, and uh, maybe back to normal reviewing next week, or maybe I start reviewing like dolphins. Live baby dolphins. So pick it up out of the water. I did. No, pick it up while I'm on camera. So error three is out of the water, and keep going down. Should we go down until it's past just, just, just until it errors. And there's error, error four. four. All right, so error so three is- That was killing me earlier. So it's, it's actually a good safety feature of the unit. We're back on the camera, by the way. Because we wanted to say a couple things. It's been, what, an hour plus? Over an hour since we turned this off, took the thing out. What's our temperature? 131. But one oh, that's what it's set to, but let's see what the actual well, it'll, No, that is the actual temperature. You set it. Oh, it, I got you. And got then you. it comes on. So it's only... We, yeah. Jay here wanted to apologize about the balls. I'm apologizing about my, my premature uh, evaluation of the balls. Yes, put the low light here. Oh, two things. I wanted to figure out how high this went. Keep going. Can you hold it down or it doesn't go? It doesn't. Oh. I want to know because you, if you could hit like 180, wow, that's hot. Does it hit 200? Dude, oh, it goes 34 degrees. 203. I'm impressed. If it could actually maintain that, see, I don't know what the hell a couple, couple points, couple points. All right, so back to the balls. So we just had to do 203. That's the highest I've ever seen a SUV go to. This is also 1,050 watts, and the other ones that are for sale on Amazon, if you look up SUV, there's one or two that are this cost. And a couple that are like 100 bucks, they're all 800 watt. So this is more powerful than those. And then on top of that, the balls, Jay. They insulate quite well, actually. Yeah, there's like no heat. It's like, I think there's hot water to there. Ah! It's yeah, so we had this at the 143, right? Yeah. And after an hour, it was only down, it was down less than 10 degrees. I'm just sitting here on the stove. Yeah, and it's 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 emitting and out the side of the pot. If you it, use, is, it is hot. If you use an insulated, if you use a... What's it called? A cooler. Who's at 32 degrees? Shut up. Be happy that it goes there. Actually, will it cool water? That would be amazing. You know, I don't know. Just just keep, it'll pretty much run forever. I'm just doing. testing on this. Right. Yes. Jay's getting to keep this unit. But yeah, we're impressed by the insulative power of the balls. Yeah, the balls are the most impressive thing of this whole thing. I, I thought at first, I dismissed it as like retarded, but... I'm gonna try the tinfoil method and see if it makes a difference. Like if it's, you Ball accomplish the same thing. Uh, but I, uh, no, no, just, I'm gonna tinfoil the top. I'm gonna cover it. But I, we'll, we'll do more testing, but we approve of the balls. Yeah, I mean, honestly. If you had a pool and you could get it heated, if you have a heated pool and you covered it with this. Like, you don't feel any heat here at all. No. And then when you put your hand break through there, it, it's like, it's that's, a, that's probably not hot water. I'm if, killing this. Go ahead. Shut it off. That hits 200. Do not sous vide anything at 203. Yeah, I don't is. know what you would possibly need to sous vide at that temperature. Because you're just defeating the purpose of sous Well, you know what? No, that's, that's a lie. Because Whoa. even if you put a steak in at 200 degrees, you know, no, but you, for a shorter amount of time. No. That's not what's how that works. Difference? That's not how any of this what's works. What's the difference in roasting it? Well, that would not be sous vide then. You're supposed to get it to the temperature of the uh, meat that you want to get. Through and through, yeah, okay. I yeah, what the hell? How are you, you supposed to you probe mean, that? You know what? Then ribs. Right. Ribs is pork, one, pork, look, sh pork shoulder. The fact that it'll do 170, 180, and then up to 200, yeah. I'm impressed. The only, I will say this, the only thing that I like mine for a little more is I could set a range from hot to cold. So in other words, I, if I aim for like 143, It'll go to 144, and then I have it set to not come back on till 141. This unit was turning on and off within 15 seconds, which is okay. It's just you could see the light lights dim. 
I'd rather have it give a little bit of leeway. It's okay if it sits a little bit, especially if the thing keep, keeps going. So a little bit more of a delay between the on and off cycles would be better. Okay. That's my only, my only thing is I don't want it turning on and off and on and off and on. It would be like on and every 30 seconds off and on, but instead of every 15. But yeah, I approve. It's still approved. All the stuff. For the, especially for the price. I mean, oh yeah. Sous-vide is now, you don't even, if you don't get the balls, you can still sous-vide for eight bucks. And that's the best thing ever.